the Greek, look, all the bottom. Wow. The Greek trees. Top down, let's And the, you can perfect. Yeah, sorry. Ah. <laughs> see what I mean? Look. Oh, oh, oh. You see? Yes, they outlined, they yeah. outlined red figure before they painted. And he's holding yeah. a stick. Yeah. How long ago was this? Ten years ago? 50, oh no, 15 years, 15 years ago. Years ago. Yeah. You've waited all and I years. always wanted to come back and see if there's something more. Without doubt, the most important find of the survey was found not by high technology, but by a diver friend, Selim Dinger, in charge of the fisheries department in Bodrum. He stumbled on it while diving for pleasure and told Ashkin Jambazalu, another old friend, who called us by cell phone with the news and then visited us on Virazan. We went immediately to the place and found only a few amphoras visible. But Tufan and others poking in the sand said there is much more on the site. Don took a digital photograph and sent it from Virazan by email to Mark Lowell, an amphora expert at the University of Manitoba. Mark was terribly excited for he pointed out that this was the first 6th century BC wreck ever found in the Eastern Mediterranean. Barbara Dutuy's first ever visit to an ancient shipwreck gives some idea of what it is like to see the underwater world for the first time. I'm just very happy. I've, I've heard about this for such a long time and to be able to be here and see what it's all about is really very, very special to me. It's just amazing to see Claude out there and yes. how, many, how many feet away from us. <laughs> it just takes a, d a new dimension to everything about it's underwater, uh, underwater archaeology yeah. and everything, re everything you read about, but I think you have to be here in this place to understand a lot more about it.